Have you ever wanted to change hairstyle or hair color in your images to the desired model? With Focus AI, you can do this. I'll show you how to change hairstyle and hair color using Easy Text Prompt or using Loras. Watch till the end to learn how to do this step by step in Focus AI. Run Focus AI. I use this prompt to change hairstyle with text prompt. You can describe the person's appearance and expression, then write hairstyle and hair color. After that describe the clothes, background, lighting, and other things you want. To find the hairstyle's name, you can search on Google or get help from ChatGPT. Change the settings. I don't use Laura in this step. Uncheck styles. Styles can affect the result. It's optional. You can try with styles. Increase the image number to see more results and select a better image. You can change the aspect ratio. For some expressions in your prompt, you can add weight to change their effect. Select each part you want, keep control on your keyboard, and press up key to increase the weight and down key to decrease it. Don't use high value. It can affect your generation and show you weird results. You can generate and see the results, then add weight to any part that you want to change its effects. Press the generate button. You can download the result from here. I change the hairstyle and show you another example. I didn't mention hair color, so it creates hair with different colors. Add your hairstyle name and hair color in the text prompt and create images based on them. To find Laura open Civit AI. On this website, you can find different models and Loras. Type hairstyle in the search bar and press enter. From the left side, you can add filters to the results. Select SDXL and select Laura for model type. It will show you the results and you can open them one by one and check which one is proper for your work. By pressing this icon, you can see the details that these images were created with. You can get help from them. I will try this one. You can see some trigger words. When you want to use Laura, you need to add a trigger word in your prompt. Check out Laura's description. Sometimes they write the necessary settings for this Laura. Scroll down and see some images that were created with this Laura. You can check their prompts. If you want to use Laura on your computer, download it and put the file in this path. If you want to install Laura in Google Collab, you need this code. We need to add Laura's name and link in this code. To copy the URL, right-click on the download button and select copy link address. Now we use this code in Collab. The last line will run the interface, so we need to install Laura before this line. Add two code cells. Paste Laura in the second cell and the last line in the last cell. You can save this notebook and use it whenever you want. Run the cell and when it's done, run the next cell. Select the Laura. If you don't see it, click Refresh All Files. Different weights can create different results. In this part, you can see the number 0.6 as the weight number. You can see some examples in Laura's source and change weight based on them. I use 0.8. Uncheck Styles. I write my previous prompt and change the hairstyle in it. If you want to see an example of each trigger word, you can open the links below. For example, Double Bun creates something like this hairstyle. Copy the trigger word you want. Also, add hair color. I add weight to this part. Some images are based on the prompt and some are not, so create more images. I want to change the hair of this image. In the in paint or out paint, upload your image. You need to mask the current hair and the part where you want the new hair to appear. It can be easy if you use zoom canvas and change the brush size. See the help keys here. Hold shift on the keyboard and use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. By pressing arc key you can reset the zoom. Don't mask extra part, it can affect the image. In the first step, select the modify content method. The prompt box will appear here. Write the hairstyle and hair color. Note that based on your selected hairstyle, you may need to mask an extra part. 
Focus can only change the mask area. Change the settings. I don't use Laura. You can try by Laura and use the trigger word in the prompt box. Download these images and then improve any image you want. Drag the image to the in paint section. Clear the mask. Mask the hair. In the second step, select improve detail to get image with better details and quality. You can write highly detailed hair in prompt box or keep your hairstyle and hair color and write highly detailed before that. You see the preview of this generation. In this section, I want to change the image hair based on the source image. Mask the hair based on the new hairstyle. Press the image prompt tab and upload the image you want to use its hair. If the image doesn't have a simple background, remove its background. Click advanced. Select image prompt. Increase stop at and weight parameters more than 0.85. In the in paint section, select in paint or out paint method. Go to the advanced tab. Active developer debug mode. Click on the control tab. Active mixing image prompt and in paint. Change the settings. We don't need text prompt. Press the generate button. You may see a different hairstyle at the output. Try creating more images and changing stop it and wait. Remove your source image and try different hairstyles. If the video was helpful, like and subscribe. Try and tell me in the comment, can you get good results with this tutorial? Thanks for watching.